Hi, I'm Ada. I'm here with Ali Jean Ayanler, and welcome to Next Step. Join us as we delve into the world of robotics. I don't know if this is my co-host or my replacement. Robots could turn out to be better at deliveries than humans, but what about customer service? Companies like Akun Robotics think so and are leading the charge. Their versatile range of robots are capable of performing tasks in hospitality, healthcare, and retail, showcasing impressive adaptability and user interaction. One standout is Ada, a humanoid robot designed to guide and assist people across many venues. One of its top features is its advanced AI, allowing it to interact with people naturally and efficiently. Equipped with multiple sensors, cameras, and a sophisticated language processing system, ADA can understand and respond to human speech in multiple languages. So what exactly does ADA do? In airports, ADA serves as a guide, providing passengers with flight information, directions, and even updates on gate changes. This not only enhances the travel experience, but also eases the workload for airport staff. In hospitals, ADA assists medical staff by delivering medication, monitoring patients' vital signs, and even offering companionship, helping to reduce loneliness and improve overall care. ADA is also making its mark in retail and hospitality. In shopping malls and hotels, ADA greets customers, provides information about products or services, and even handles basic customer service tasks. Talk to me about the development process. What goes into the development of a robot like this? First, we decide what qualifications the robot should have. We ask some questions, like in what areas this robot will be used, which sector it will serve, how many are needed, and what age group it will serve. By answering these questions, we decide on the qualifications. If the robot will be used in the service sector, we need a robot about our height. If the robot will be used in industrial sector, it needs a metal cover. If it is for children, the robot should have a cute look. It shouldn't be scary. Based on these considerations, we make a sketch model. Then, we take that model to our computer for the next process. And ADA 7 is in the service sector? Yes, ADA is designed for the service industry. In order for Ada to be in service sector, we need her to have arms and eyes to communicate with the person in front of it. It needs a screen like this. It needs to be able to do mapping. It also needs a self-managed charging system. We take these kinds of needs into consideration when creating a robot for the service sector. Emre, what kind of advantages does a robot like this bring? Ada can be used to greet personnel at a hotel, a restaurant, a cafe, or a bar. It can show customers which table to sit at and take their orders. It can deliver the order to the customers from the kitchen. I'm interested to find out how people actually react to a robot like this. If someone is distributing leaflets at the mall, people are generally hesitant to take them. But when a robot gives out those leaflets, so many people gather around the robot and take the leaflets. Since it is a new technology, people want to get a closer look. That's an advantage. And how do you foresee the development in robotics? With artificial intelligence, technology is growing exponentially. This growth brings technology to us sooner than we expected. Yes, Today we produce these robots in Turkey, but in three years' time, I'm not sure what kind of robots we will be talking about. Maybe flying robots or robots with props. It is unpredictable. Could we see a robot like this take on a more human form? Robot? It really all depends on the area of service. If the robot will be working in the service sector, we need to consider safety matters. For example, there is a risk that a two-legged robot might fall down. We can produce a four-legged robots too, but they aren't as functional as the two-legged ones in this sector. What are some of the projects that Akin Robotics is working on? We have the Arat robot with four legs. Arat can walk on rough terrain and can transfer visuals simultaneously. 
we can enhance its capabilities with some added qualities. We have collaborative robot arms. They can be used in industrial settings. We have the AMR robot, which can carry weights up to one ton. We also have the two-legged Akunju robot, which we are still working on. Our robot Mina is serving in the service sector. Overall, these are what we are working on. Industrial kullanımda kullanılan bir robot.